We're live. Awesome. Cool. Welcome everybody to ClickBank HQ. And one of the comments just go live, very spontaneous, and let you know that we're here to answer a question we've been getting a lot lately in our comments and in our forums. So we thought, what better way? It's Friday afternoon, we're kind of hanging out, parents are gone, so we're gonna go ahead and do, do a little teaching here on the board. Uh, but before I get started, if you love this type of stuff, we've got uh, the first ever, ever virtual event that we're doing here live in Boise at a studio that is just the coolest place in the world. And I think we've got a link here in the description. If we don't, we'll make sure we put it in there. But go click on it, check it out. I really think you're gonna like it. We have the best affiliate marketers in the world teaching tactics like this and taking a much deeper dive um, that you're gonna get a ton of value out of. But for the sake of this, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And our question of a lot of people is, they ask how to get started, what do I do next, right? And, and the first step obviously will be to sign up for a ClickBank account, go to the marketplace and start getting your affiliate links that you have. If you haven't done that yet, we'll also put a link to that video to get started. You can create an account in just a few minutes and get those links. But once you have your links, that's where people, they feel like they get stuck. You know, what do I do next? What's the next step in this? And I'm just gonna break down a quick three-step process for you right here. And as an affiliate marketer, the first thing you're gonna need is traffic. Did I spell it right? I think I did. My handwriting is also terrible. If you also hate it, you can comment. It's okay, I, 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 I fix it. But the first thing you're gonna need is traffic with your affiliate links. So you're gonna need internet traffic. Now that goes to running paid traffic, running organic traffic. There are tons of different ways. But the second step is where everybody gets confused, okay? And let's go ahead and draw these boxes out real quick. And they're probably not proportional, but bear with me, people. So step one, then we have step two, and step three. Step two is where about 90%, nine out of every 10 people get this wrong when they're trying to get started because what you need is a landing page. So I've got awful ADD, I cannot write and talk at the same time. But having a landing page, if you post your links directly from your traffic to your ClickBank offer, you're not gonna get the quality of traffic that you want. You're not gonna get those buyers. So let's go for a quick example that I do have my ClickBank link, which you know could be your offer, and I'm gonna be posting it directly to traffic, let's say a Facebook ad, or even just posting it into a group, into an email link. It's not gonna convert the way you want because you're not qualifying your traffic before. When you're not doing this step out of the three, you're gonna really kill off everything and lose all of your sales. Um, and like I mentioned at the beginning, if, if you're seeing this and you're like, oh, like I have done that or I haven't done that, I really need to, we're taking a much deeper dive at our event, Spark Live, at the end of the month. And we've got a link, go check it out. And I actually, if you stay to the end, I might give you a little bit of a discount code for that event. It'll be really awesome. But with using different softwares, like Convertry, ClickFunnels, different things like that, um, one of the, the methods that we love teaching is through traffic, you know, we love having Facebook ads and the reason why is you can actually target people based off their interests, okay? If I'm selling these Expo markers, I, I can actually target people who buy whiteboards or are in business, are in instruction teaching like this. You know, I'm not gonna go target people that are interested in gardening or anything like that. And Facebook gives you the ability to do that. And I know there are some other platforms, but with over you know, billions of active users every day, this is the, probably the one of the ones that that we love teaching, that we love, but there's obviously plenty that they have. So if you're running Facebook ads, if you go right to this offer, it's not gonna work, okay? You're probably A, gonna get bad quality traffic and exposure count, expose yourself to possibly getting an account banned. We don't want any of that. So we're just having a landing page. This is going to turn that X into a check mark because you're going to be sending quality traffic and having a better user experience for people on Facebook. And like I said, make sure that you're doing this second step and you're gonna save yourself tons of headache, tons of time, probably tons of money if you're running paid traffic. And if you'd like to learn more about this, like I mentioned, go check out that link. Spark Live is gonna be an awesome, awesome event. We have some affiliates that are making millions and giving you, you know, really for the first time to peek behind the curtain of how they've built their audiences and 
really earned a fortune. So definitely, and if you click that link and use the discount code SPARK, oh my gosh, that looks so bad. But SPARK, we will actually give you 50% off your ticket if you use that discount code. If you made to this point in the video, you're watching, we know you're interested, we like you, we love you, and we'd like to have you at this event at Spark Live. If you have any questions about the event or this training, uh, we'll be happy to monitor this on a daily basis and respond to all of your questions and all of your comments. And thank you for your support, and we'll see you later. We got a question. Uh, someone says landing page question mark. Can you explain a bit more about that? Great question. I'm happy you asked. So a landing page could be something. Um, let's say we are going to be selling a ClickBank offer that's maybe in the weight loss space, okay? I can't really draw a G's, I don't know why. But, so for weight loss, and we're gonna be targeting people on Facebook that are interested in weight loss, right? Interested in fitness, exercise, dieting, things like that. My landing page is going to possibly be something that would want to capture their email and send them to this. So your landing page could be, you know, are you interested in losing weight? Would you like to learn more about losing weight? Um, for this offer, you would like to know really what it is, possibly a buyer of this product as well, and know what their message and what their hooks are. So watching that sales page, which you can get on ClickBank, but seeing what they talk about and referencing that on a landing page. So it's a quick little web page that could have just a headline of what you're, what you're selling if they'd like to learn more, enter their email and then sign up. Click the button and they will go there. Or you can have it as, you can have maybe like a quiz or a blog post. So any of those would suffice as a landing page. So I hope that answers, hope that answers your question. You said landing page equals pre-sell page, yes? That's, yeah, absolutely, that's a great way to put it. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. We'll wrap it up, yeah, one, one more yeah. one pitch with Spark. Absolutely, yeah, so even, so like I said, for this landing page, we have tons of training. We're gonna go deep, deep into, um, you know, really how to build them, workshops, live Q and A's that we'll have at Spark Live. So make sure, one, you click that code, or sorry, click the, <laughs> the link to go to the sales page. Uh, check out the video, we've got who's gonna be speaking there, what topics are gonna be covering, all kinds of great stuff. And for 50% off, use discount code SPARK, we'll hook you up with some fun goodies. One more question, is there, uh... Is there ways to organic traffic? Absolutely. So with that, I would still suggest if you're doing stuff organically, still send them to this landing page, but ways of organic traffic could be building your own Facebook group. It could be having your own blog, having your own YouTube channel like we're doing right now. So there are plenty of different ways to use organic traffic. Um, it, I just had always been taught from paid, so I kind of bias revert back that way. But organic traffic, there have been people that have earned millions of dollars in affiliate marketing from organic traffic. We got another one that says, uh, is all you need just an affiliate link, a landing page, and a link tracker and a traffic source? Is that it? That's all you need right there. Perfect. And then the last one, what disclaimers are required on a landing page? Great question. So with, especially if you're running paid traffic, um, these, these search engines from Google, Bing, you know, YouTube, Facebook, any social media, you're gonna to wanna to have your own privacy policy. Terms and conditions. Now I know this is terrible, and we can even put this in the comment, but, because I know you can't read my handwriting. I get self-conscious about it, you can tell. So privacy policy, terms and conditions. Your DCMA policy, this one I've seen it on some, not on some, so you might put that as maybe like the least priority, but you definitely have to have privacy policy, terms and conditions, and a contact us page, which you could just link that to a page that says your email, if you have a contact form, but in order to have all of these three, you're gonna get the best quality traffic because Google has millions and millions of these little spider bots crawling all over the internet, and they can investigate to make sure that these are legitimate. And if they, you have them, you have a good quality rating is what they call it. So make sure that you have those to, to get the best, to get any traffic out of So we got another one. Someone's asking, and actually, actually I might take this one too. Uh, they're asking for some more organic traffic sources. Sure. So organic traffic sources, a lot of times in affiliate marketing space, uh, you see a lot of people, uh, kind of back in the day, using blogs. So a lot of people, if you have an established blog, will, will write 
large pieces of content, right, to try to rank naturally in, or, in organic search. So like Google will start ranking blog posts. People target questions, things like that. Really kind of like epic long form guides that answer questions. It's a great way to put affiliate links in a blog when you're answering those kind of questions because people will search something like, hey, how to, how to install a furnace or something like that, right? Click on that natural link in Google. You can tell them exactly how to do it, and at the bottom of it, you put your affiliate link, right? You can do that with all, all sorts of all, all sorts of affiliate links, all sorts of affiliate products. Another way, if you have following on social media, that's a really classic way to do it. Honestly, link in bio, right? You see it all the time. So on Instagram, right? Let's say you have 10,000 followers, and you know you're you know, someone that's relatively fit, right? That's the type of content people like to see. You can post weight loss offers or health supplement offers, right? And the links in your bio to get commissions for that, right? So that's another way is if you have social media following. Um, another big one is kind of YouTube influencers. There's all kinds of things. Those are probably, I would say the probably the top three organic traffic sources is where you're basically creating content. People are coming to you, they trust you. They see you as someone, as an expert in the industry in whatever niche that you're talking about and then you pitch those whatever whatever affiliate links that you have for that. So that's kind of, um, in my opinion, Ben, I don't know if there's anything else, but some of, the, some of the best organic traffic sources. Yeah, those are all fantastic examples. And even searching on YouTube, you can see so many different examples of ClickBank affiliates using organic ways to promote. Um, if you wanna learn more organic ways to promote, definitely click that link and come check out Spark Live. So we're gonna be going through all of this for two whole days and the content that you get there will be invaluable. And guess what? You can even get 50% off your ticket if you enter the discount code SPARK at checkout. Sweet. Figure out how to stop it.